into detailed differences between bicornuate uterus and didelphus uterus, explain point by point, and then in a clear comparison table, good for theory, viva, plus exams. Detailed differences. 1. Definition. Bicornuate uterus, caused by partial failure of fusion of the two malarian ducts, results in a uterus with two communicating cavities and a single outer structure. The shape looks like a heart. Uterus didelphys, caused by complete failure of fusion of the two malarian ducts, results in two entirely separate uteri, each with its own cavity, cervix, and sometimes its own vagina. 2. Number of endometrial cavities, bicornuate, two cavities but not completely separated. They share some common myometrium. Didelphys, two totally separate cavities, no connection at all. 3. Number of cervices, bicornuate, usually one cervix, bicornuate unicollis, sometimes two cervices, bicornuate bicollis. Didelphus, always two cervices, double cervix, number of vaginas, bicornuate, always one vagina. Didelphus, often has a longitudinal vaginal septum, two vaginas, one may even be obstructed, causing dysmenorrhea. Or 5. External uterine contour, bicornuate, Fundal contour shows a deep indentation, 10 mm, because the two horns are partially separated but share an outer surface. Didelphys, two completely separate uterine fundae, widely divergent outer contour, no common myometrial shell. Six fundal shape, bicornuate, heart-shaped or indented fundus. Didelphys, each uterus has its own convex or flat fundus, standing separately. Seven embryological defect, bicornuate, partial fusion failure of the malarian ducts. Didelphus, complete fusion failure of the malarian ducts. 8. Septum, bicornuate, no true septum. The division is due to myometrium, not fibrous tissue. Didelphus, no septum either. Instead, there are two totally independent cavities. 9. Symmetry, bicornuate, usually asymmetric cavities, one horn bigger than the other. Didelphus, two symmetric and independent uteri. 10. Diagnostic imaging, MRI, 3D USG, HSG, bicornuate. Intercornual angle, 105 degrees, fundal indentation depth, 10 millimeters, appears as a single uterus with two cavities. Didelphus, two endometrial cavities that are widely separated. Each cavity has its own cervix and canal. 11. Incidence, bicornuate, more common to 0.4% of women. Didelphus, less common, 0.1 to 0.1. Reproductive outcomes, bicornuate, higher risk of miscarriage, SP second trimester. Preterm labor is common. Malpresentation of fetus breach transverse. Didelphus, pregnancy outcome better compared to bicornuate. Still increased risk of preterm labor, malpresentation. Sometimes one uterus may sustain pregnancy while the other is empty. 13. Menstrual problems. Bicornuate, usually normal menstruation, single vagina. Didelphus, may have dysmenorrhea or obstructive symptoms if one vagina is blocked, hematocolpos, hematometra. Handle 14 treatment, bicornuate if asymptomatic, no treatment. If recurrent miscarriage or obstetric complications, Strassman metroplasty, surgical unification of cavities. Didelphus, surgery usually not required, only done if there is obstructed hemivagina septum resection. 15, renal anomalies, bicornuate, sometimes associated with renal anomalies, but less common. Didelphus, frequently associated with renal agenesis, SP ipsilateral when obstructed hemivagina present. Comparison table feature, bicornuate uterus, uterus didelphus. Definition, partial failure of Millerian duct fusion, complete failure of Millerian duct fusion. Endometrial cavities, two partially connected, two completely separate. Services, usually one, unicollis, sometimes two, always two. Vagina, one, often two, due to longitudinal septum. External contour, indented fundus 10 millimeters, two completely separate fundi. Fundal shape, heart shape, two convex flat fundi, separate. Embryology, partial fusion defect, complete fusion defect. Septum, no true septum, no septum, separate cavities. Symmetry, asymmetric horns, symmetric uteri, imaging signs, intercorneal angle one or five degree, indentation 10 millimeters two widely separated endometrial cavities with two cervices, incidence, more common 0.4%, less common 0.3%, reproductive outcome, miscarriage, preterm birth, malpresentation, better than bicornuate but still risks, menstrual problems, usually none, dysmenorrhea obstruction if septum present, treatment, Strassman metroplasty if recurrent losses, rarely needed, septum excision if obstructed, 
Renal anomalies, sometimes more common, espirenal agenesis. Thank you. Have a nice day.